Hi, happy Wednesday, Burlis and Adventist Church. It is a beautiful day outside, and I hope that you're enjoying the weather that God has given to us, because he's given us some, some gorgeous temperatures and blue skies and sun and just so many blessings I know that you're experiencing. And anyway, I just wanted to touch base with you as we're getting near this weekend, because not only is, is this weekend special because of the Sabbath, we're looking forward to that, coming together to worship, but it's also special because of Sunday. I don't normally say that, but Sunday is Mother's Day. So kids, husbands, if you haven't remembered this important holiday, I this is your pastor giving you a friendly bit of, of, of encouragement and a reminder to say, hey, this weekend is Mother's Day, and it's not too late to do something special to tell your wife, your mother, just how wonderful and special they are to you. You know, it just reminds me, remembering things is important. Remembering moms is important. I, I think about Jesus, the very closing moments of Jesus' life. He could have, he could have just been selfish. He could have thought about himself, what he was enduring or his struggles or his, his hardships, but Jesus didn't. Jesus remembered his mother in the very last moments of his life. John 19 tells us about it in John uh, 19 and verse 25. This is what the Bible says. It says, near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, he said, here's your mother. And from that time on, this disciple took her into his home. You know, Jesus remembered his mom. He, he knew just how important it was that his mom be provided for, cared for, taken care of, how special she was to him. And so he said in his dying moments, here's your new son. And John, here's your mother. And he knew that she'd be provided for. I love that about Jesus, don't you? How he remembers us in his in the moments of his life when when it's hard to fathom he'd remember anything other than what he was dealing with, but he did. And not only did he remember his mother, you know what? Jesus remembered us. Right right as he was headed to the Garden of Gethsemane, after the, the Last Supper that he had with his disciples, Jesus was remembering you and me. Look at what he says in John chapter 14 and verse 16. He says, I, basically telling his disciples, I'm leaving, right? And he says to them, he says, I'm going to ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate. You know, that word advocate is also helper. And in the King James Version, it means comforter. And he says, to help you and to be with you forever. Verse 17, the spirit of truth, the world cannot accept him because it, it neither knew him or recognized him. In verse 26, Jesus says, but the advocate, the, the helper, the comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. Jesus reminded them, he said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. These are Jesus' final moments, really, with his disciples. And he remembered them. He remembered that he was going to send to them, to us, the comforter. You know, I don't know about you. But with the times that we're living in now more than ever, I want a comforter, right? I want the Holy Spirit. I want an advocate. I want someone who's going to help me and fight for me and provide, take care of my needs. And so, so church, I just want to remind you, this is a good time to remember. It's a good time to remember moms, but it's also a good time to remember what Jesus is doing for us even now as the Holy Spirit ministers to the needs of you and me. We're not alone. We're not left. We're not forsaken. Jesus loves you very, very much. And so do I. And I look forward to Sabbath when we get to worship online. So God bless you.